All right, let's talk about atomic mass today. In pretty simple terms, atomic mass is just, you know, like mass of the atom, which if you have studied chemistry before, you may know that it is comprised of the mass of the protons and the mass of the neutrons. And if you look at the periodic table, you can see those atomic masses listed below the elements, right? And these are not, you know, simple whole numbers. These are in decimals or fractions, right? We'll get to the point, why is it the way they are? But if you notice carefully, you can, you know, like observe that atomic mass does not equal to the mass number, right? Although they are pretty damn close. I mean, the mass number of lithium is 7, but the atomic mass is 6.94. And it's same with every other element in the periodic table. But you must realize that these are not the same things. Mass number, it's just a number. It is the number of protons plus number of neutrons. But atomic mass, it is a mass, right? It has dimensions. It has a unit. So what is the SI unit of atomic mass? Okay, SI unit of atomic mass. And just like every other mass in the MKS system, it is kilograms, right? But you may also represent it in terms of U, which is short for unified atomic mass, or Daltons. Daltons, right. I mean, just like you can convert millimeters or micrometers or anything into meters, you can also convert U or Daltons into kg. Let me show you how that conversion works, okay? So one U or one Dalton equals to 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg, all right? Let me put a box around it so you know that it's very, very important. And it's a K, and it's a seven, you might be confused. All right, it's a seven. All right. I encourage you to check the interesting lore behind this conversion. It's pretty, pretty interesting. All right, now to get back to the question of why the atomic masses are the way they are. To understand that, you must understand the concept of isotopes first isotopes. In layman's terms, isotope have same atomic number, same atomic number, but different, different mass number. All right, let me give you an example. Okay, uh, carbon has three isotopes. Okay, they all have same atomic number, but have different mass number. All right, Okay, these are isotopes. Okay, now why is the you know, like atomic mass in fractions? Well, because it is the average of all the available isotopes. The, av the average mass of all the available isotopes. Okay, suppose you have carbon-12, which has a mass of X, carbon, you know, like 13. Yeah, carbon-13, which is a mass of Y. Carbon-14, which is a mass of X. Sorry, Z. Right. And they are all available in different amounts. It may be available as 70%. Like, just for you know, sake of example. Uh, and this, let's take this as 20%. And this as 5%. Right. The average atomic mass will be the weighted average of all the isotopes which will be equal to 75% of X plus, you know, 20% of Y plus 5% of Z, right? And this will result in, say, you know, the average atomic mass. And that is why the atomic mass is listed in you know, fractions or decimal numbers. <laughs> All right, I think this is like a lot for a video. Uh, 
I did my best to explain things, but I may have skipped a few things. So let me know in the comments if you don't understand a thing or, you know, if you have any doubts or shit. Okay, so to revise, we talked about atomic mass and we talked about where they are listed in the periodic table and how mass number and atomic mass is different to each other. And we talked about the SI unit of atomic mass, the conversion, and isotopes, and the average atomic mass. I mean, I, I explained this in a pretty rushed way. So let me know if you want me to make another you know, like detailed video on average atomic mass. All right. Okay. That's it for atomic mass today.